Hey guys, my name's Camillo, and welcome to my second video in the D23 Expo coverage news. And on this video, we're going to be talking about the Disney live action sets, uh, live action panels that was talked about, and also the Star Wars. I'm just going to mix these two in because if I made a d different video for the Star Wars, it would just take way too long. And I just want to get all this out there. So to start off, we didn't really get that much <laughs> interesting news for the uh, live action series that they're doing. I'm really going to only be talking about uh, three three movies live action that they're talking about that they released other than um, the Star Wars. I'm going to do that separately. But yeah, we got nothing from Beauty and the Beast, basically, uh, starring Emma Watson. Really nothing, and which saddens me because I'm really, really excited for that movie. One of the three that did interest me I'm going to talk about first is, shockingly, The Jungle Book, the live action, which uh, they released a new poster and apparently clips of in... Um, uh, as you can see, I put the poster up here for you guys. We didn't get any clips released to the general public, uh, but I'm sure we'll get something eventually. The release date is April 15th, 2016, so that's coming up pretty soon. Um, which, what I think is really cool about this movie, though, is that it's a mix of live action and animation. So most of the characters are CG, obviously. Hopefully, apparently what, what I hear, it's really good CG, like Avatar kind of good CG. So that's going to be awesome. Um... What else did I write down? If I look down here, it's because, once again, I have my notes over here that I want to make sure I say everything correctly. Uh, only Mowgli, by the way, is supposed to be non-animated, although he did wear a motion capture suit. The actor, what's his name? N Neil Sethi? I don't know. Don't kill me if I mispronounced that. But yeah, um, he actually wore a motion capture suit, uh, you know, like um, like they do in like the Lord of the Rings movies and like Smaug did, so those kind of suits. And he actually re-recorded his scenes twice. So he did one without the motion capture suit and one with the motion capture suit. And for a kid to do that, a child actor, I think that's really good. So um, props in for doing that. Uh, that's really all we got from the movie. It's directed by Jon Favreau, who did directed the first two Iron Man films, which I think were fucking amazing. Well, not the second one, the first one. He also directed Zath Zathura, but, well, we can't always hit it out of the ballpark. But yeah, so that's really cool. He directed Chef, I believe, which was a really good, like, indie kind of hit. Uh, what else did I get? Um, uh, the stars Ben Kingsley, uh, Lupita Nyong'o, Bill Murray, and Christopher Walken. They're all playing the animated uh, uh, characters. Uh, Bill Murray, I believe, is playing a uh, bear. Christopher Walken, um, the, like, orangutan in the movie. Ben Kingsley plays the panther, which is really cool. I can picture his voice coming out of that panther. And Lupita Nyong'o plays uh, Mowgli's, like, wolf mother i believe it is uh yeah that's basically all i got from that movie i'm really psyched for it it looks really good never been a big fan of the actual like animated jungle book but this one actually looks kind of exciting i don't know i like the cast i love the director i want to see how they do the live action um animation hybrid so that's going to be really fun next thing we're going to talk about is something that not a lot of people were excited for i enjoyed the first movie a lot of people didn't, and uh, that's a sequel to Alice in Wonderland, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, and it's uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Now, um, uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass is going to be directed by James uh, Bobbin, who directed the Muppets movie. Not the Tim, not Tim Burton. It's unfortunately, I think he's only carrying off as a producer in this film, not as a director. Um, many people, like I said, did not like the original Alice in Wonderland. I loved it. I, I thought it was fun. Uh, we got a returning cast member who showed up. There was uh, Mia Wasikowski, who plays Alice. Um, I think it's great for her to show up and support this movie. She did a wonderful job as Alice. I loved it as Alice, and I can't wait to see her return. Uh, other ca returning cast members obviously include Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter, which is fantastic in the first one. Once again, can't wait to see him come back. Um, also returning, which was really fun, and I loved. I love her in a lot of her movies. I love her working with Johnny Depp. Is... Uh, um, the Queen of Hearts, whoa, her name escapes me, Helena Baum Carter. Uh, I'm really excited and psyched to see her return. And also, my favorite actress ever is back, Anne Hathaway as the White Queen. <laughs> I loved her as the White Queen. Um, we also got a new cast member reveal with Sasha Baron Cohen as uh, Time. And this movie is going to be all about uh, time using his power to time travel Alice back in time and you're gonna see like the Underland or Wonderland Characters sort of origin stories and that's kind of cool because Alice is gonna get to meet them throughout time 
Uh, that's basically what the movie's going to be about. We got a couple of character posters. Most of them, though, have already been released. They're from Alice in Wonderland. The, really, the only new one is the Time one. And we also got cool uh, costumes. And we got that cool poster of, like, the clocks melting and Alice there in the background. So that's kind of cool. The release date for this is May 27th, 2016. So all these movies are coming up. And I think there's there's seven uh, Disney live-action movies that are going to be released. I'm only talking about three because they're the only three that really caught my attention. I'm not going to be talking about, uh, like, Pete's Dragon, which we got a logo for, and a clip. But I don't really... I'm not excited for that. <laughs> all right. Next thing we're going to talk about is the last one, which is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 5. 5. Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um... It's a big announcement for this. Other than Johnny Depp showing up in full character and full costume, Johnny Depp is fantastic. You can always count on him. He was actually just inducted into the Disney Legends, so that's kind of cool that they're honoring him that way. He shows his commitment to every Disney movie he does, which is awesome. I, I've loved him. I liked his role in Lone Ranger. I liked his role in uh, Alice in Wonderland. I like him in this. So, you know, we see Captain Jack return in this movie, which is really cool. Um, other castings were, I can never say your last name right, but Cass Sc Sky Scodelario, Scodelario, from The Maze Runner, which I didn't really like her in. I didn't enjoy The Maze Runner as much. I really loved the books. I didn't really like what they did with the movie. I'm excited to see The Scorch Trials, so let's hope that's good. She's also from Skins. She played Effie on there, which I really liked her in, so that's, that's why I, I can kind of see her being really good in this movie. She's obviously going to play, like, the female love interest. They always have the love couple and then brenton thwaites from the giver and maleficent he played prince philip and maleficent is gonna be in this movie don't know why they picked him apparently and beyond the trailer grace randolph's review that and so elgort was gonna be in this movie was running up for the same part and i would have totally gone with ansel elgort from the fault in our stars and divergent i don't like brandon thwaites i've never have i don't know i mean it doesn't really got much going for him there uh, the villain will be Javier Barden as Captain Salazar, and also returning, not just Captain uh, Jack, but Captain Barbosa, which is, was my favorite villain from all the Pirates of the Caribbean series, is going to be back. But the big, big, big announcement, other than the Pirates of the Caribbean logo, which really looks the same as all the other ones, is um, Will Turner, Orlando Bloom, will be returning uh, as Will Turner. So that's really, really cool that we get to see him, Captain, ha Captain of the Flying Dutchman. So that's awesome that we're going to get to see him come back as Will Turner. No Elizabeth, but, I mean, we're getting there. We got we got Will back, so let's hope we get Elizabeth back. All right. Next thing we're going to talk about, I don't, I'm not really going to go into details about the Star Wars. I'm just going to, like, pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Uh, yeah, Star Wars Land was announced for um, both Disney Coast. It's going to be in Orlando, which is really awesome. It's going to be in Hollywood Studios. And not only, side note here, not only is Hollywood Studios getting a Star Wars land, but it's also getting a Toy Story exclusive land. So that's awesome. Then uh, it's also going to be in Disneyland. They purchased a bunch of acres over there. It's going to be that. And then uh, the director of Jurassic World, what's his name? Colin Trevorrow is going to direct the final installment in the Star Wars trilogy that we're getting, the new Star Wars trilogy. Uh, it's every each each Star Wars um, movie is gonna have a different director, so I think that's really cool. So he's gonna direct the last one. He directed Jurassic World, which is like the third grossing movie of all time. So that's that's really good. I liked it. It's a fun popcorn flick. So hopefully he can do <laughs> like really good with this one. Um, what else did we get? Oh, the cast for Star Wars Story Rogue One was finally pictured. It's no longer Star Wars Anthology Rogue One. It's Star uh, a Star Wars Story. So there was a name change with that. Um, two castings that I noticed that really stood out for me was uh, the martial artist star uh, Donnie Yen. So that's really fun that we're going to see him. He was pictured there. And we got uh, Felicity Jones pictured right in the middle. So she's obviously going to be a big part of that movie. And this movie is really going to be centered around the plans for the Death Star being stolen. So that's going to be fun. I don't know if they're stolen for good, for evil. Who knows? It's going to be cool to see that. But yeah, that's what the movie's going to center about. And that with that, it's the end to this video. The next video I'm going to do is going to be the Pixar slash Disney animation. I'm going to combine those because <laughs> that's, it's going to be a long one. I'm not going to lie to you. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was fun to talk about. You guys, if you guys didn't check out my Marvel panel video, you should check that out. And yeah, I look forward to seeing what you guys reply. Was your favorite of this video? What your favorite movie that you're looking up, that you're looking forward to? forward to from disney is and yep 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video if you found the news interesting, and subscribe, because that'll be nice. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. See you later.